Hello guys, what is up? It's the easier here today playing my crane lagger. What am, what am I saying? Today I'm gonna show you how to make your own custom texture pack. Yep, this is what is this? One, two, three. This is part three. This this episode I'm gonna show you how to make a clear GUI, clear inventory. Yep, because nobody, and I, and I mean nobody. Well, at least I don't. At least I think nobody knows how to make a clear inventory. So to begin with. Mm -mm, what you're gonna need of course the texture pack you've been working on yep that one and when when you have your texture pack you have to as I don't know just look for the file it has to be the, the what, what do you call it GUI container inventory that's the file we're gonna work on right now okay we I think I I just I chose the wrong one go back here Container, nope. Inventory. So we're gonna work on the inventory for this episode. Well, well, that's the, that's the file for a clear inventory. So, what I'm gonna use is the what do you call it? I'm gonna use Photoshop because that's the one I mostly use, and I kind of understand it more than everything else. So, yeah. So let's begin. So first of all, after you after you open your file, you're, you're gonna get this. I'm gonna zoom in. You see, you you see, you see here. So, mm -mm, to begin with, this this is how we're going to well make it clear. First of all, we're gonna select a certain region. When I mean region, I'm, I mean a certain area, because if we don't select a certain area, everything else is gonna be screwed up. If you if you want to see what I mean, let me go to let me go to select select color range click down here you see this black one I'm gonna select it click OK OK as you as you can see it's selected so I'm gonna delete that delete but as you, as you can see in the bottom here it got affected as well and we don't want that we only, we only want to affect the top area which is this part right here so in order, in order to prevent that we're gonna go to here select the rectangular mark Mercade tool. I don't know how you spell that. Who wrote that? Tell me. Tell me how to spell it. So I'm selected that tool right here. We're only gonna select this region here, which is the one we're gonna work on. We'll go over here and we select all this. It's, it's kind of hard. Yeah, I think I selected it. Did I? Yeah, yeah, I selected it. So. <clears throat> Okay, what that selected that means that I'm only going to work with this with this area, not not the bottom area, just this area. So when you got that selected, I'm gonna go up here to select. Where is it? Color range, and yeah. So what color range does? It only selects a certain type of color. So if I were to select the red color in color range, I would only select items that are that are colored red. So that's how that works, kind of. Uh huh. So what we're gonna choose is this tool right here, not the plus or minus, plus or minus thing, just the one that's regular, just that one. Cat testing us, have it at forty, like I think it's default forty. Yeah. Everything else I have it the same. So and yeah, what am I saying? I I can't even make a tutorial. Oh my gosh. Oh well. So we so we got that selected. I'm gonna select the part that I'm gonna delete and only delete these parts, okay? So I'm gonna delete I'm gonna delete this black part right here. So I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna click OK and then I'm gonna click delete. So that deleted. That's good. I'm gonna press Command D or Control D. I think yeah that's right. I think that's right for Windows Windows users. So I'm gonna select this area again when I'm done with that step. So I'm gonna select. I'm gonna reselect that region with the, with the what do you call it? Rectangular mark. I don't know. So I'm gonna reselect that again with the rectangular tool. After we're done reselecting, reselecting that region, I'm gonna go back to select, select, color range, and this time we're, we're gonna delete this color, which is what the outside. And the, we're here in the bottom screen. You can see an outlay of what you're gonna delete or select. Yeah, the white stuff is the selected part. The black stuff is the 
not selected part yeah that's right so I'm gonna select this click what happened well something happened to um the computer it kind of froze no no biggie so in my last step I was well I selected the area I just pressed ok so all of this this entire color right here it's all selected so I'm press delete and now that's deleted let me, let me do it again delete and only that area is deleted so after we got that I'm gonna reselect it again but first of all I'm gonna deselect it or else I won't select so in order to deselect I'm gonna press command D now since I have it what entered clicked whatever I'm gonna out I'm gonna select the region again just just this region so this bottom part doesn't get screwed up and this is the last part you're gonna edit well that's part that I'm gonna add but you could you could do you can make it more fancy you know add letters here make the GUI more fancy I don't know what are we gonna do so when I'm done selecting when I'm done selecting this region again I'm gonna go to select color range I'm only gonna select this type of color this time I want to select these boxes which is wait these boxes right here so when I'm when I'm done selecting the boxes I'm gonna click OK these boxes are now selected I'm gonna click is everything else selected? no ju just these I'm gonna click delete and should I delete this, this this blackness? Should I? I'm I'm, I'm just gonna keep it. Yolo. Then I'm gonna save this file. Save. Uh huh. I'm gonna close out of this. I'm gonna. Well, first of all, after you save, I have to make sure it's saved to the right place. Which I'm sure it's saved to the right place. Go to Minecraft. Resource packs, clear assets, Minecraft textures, GUI, container, inventory. Here it is. So that's so it's saved properly. That's good. For now, we're gonna open Minecraft and we're gonna see if it actually does work. So give me a second to check if this works. Slash open Minecraft. Let me just minimize minimize this. What else am I gonna do? Try to close this. Yeah, just, just leave it open. Ah, Minecraft. Whatever shall we do without you? So, after your Minecraft, what opening slash done loading? Let me let me make this bigger. Make it bigger mega walls. Open that. Wait, what? Forge mod lord. What's craft guide? I, I don't really care. I don't really care about craft guide, craft thing. Oh, whoa, well, whoa. Well. What texture pack is this? Oh, it's my texture pack. No, oh, well, that's great. So, let me show you options. I'm gonna go to options. Oops. Resource packs. Okay. So, to begin with, I'm gonna show you the default texture pack. So slash game mode s so as you can see the texture pack for minecraft the default texture pack it's 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 kind of it's kind of hmm you can't see much can you so that's not good for pvp so say you're leading a chest right there's a, there's a pony coming at you and you might die well that's why i need a clear gui so i'm gonna open this escape options resource packs this this is the one we edited. This is the GUI we used. So I'm gonna go, I'm select this. Done. Done and done. That people, guys, girls, geez, is how you make your own custom Minecraft texture pack. And I'm just gonna say thank you for subscribing, all of you. And well, I hope you enjoyed this. And wait. Keep, stay tuned because I'm still not done yet with the series of how to make a custom texture pack. And I probably might re upload this slash make another episode because I don't believe I'm, I clearly explained all this. So maybe I'll add annotations? I don't know. But besides that, you can comment down below 
if you need help. And I'll have a link, a link, yeah, a link to the playlist of how to make your own tutorial in what left side of your screen or right side. I don't know. If you're a mobile user, maybe on the bottom screen, bottom side. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this episode of how to make your custom texture pack slash clear GG. GUI clear inventory. So besides that, if you need help, comment down below. And if you want me to do something else, just um tell me down below as well. And if you like this, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Bye bye.